dad was like me. He was broke, and all we knew was racing. Yeah. And so I had a race car, and he could drive, and he didn't have a ride. So uh, we got hooked up and run good. We had to run first or second, or we didn't eat the next week. Yeah. As simple as that. And so then your dad was smart enough, and the things I had and things I could do, we could work on our own car. Didn't have to have anybody else to do anything. We built the motors. We done the cars. Everything. Where's this car at? Still at your place? It's still at my place. We come to your dad's because your grandpa had a meal and a lay up there. You did in the, in the little shop. So you went up there some. Yeah. And then I'd see you and Kelly outside. You know, y'all were kids and run around in diapers at the time. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> what what's some of your memories about going to the racetrack with dad? Oh, it was. Every, every one of them was exciting. And yeah. uh, your dad, uh, he was like me. He was a racer. And racing was first. So And everything else was second. And uh, so uh, we went there with a race face on. Take no prisoners. You know what I'm saying? First or second, like I said. Mm-hmm. One of, we was going to have one to two, but we couldn't go to next week. Yeah. There's a couple times where you had to run out of there. He did. a matter of fact, uh, it was really the first big race that Dad had run at Metrolina. Uh, I think it was 10,000 to win and 6,000 for second, mm-hmm. 200 lap race. And uh, it was sort of toward the end of the year there. And uh, that was going to get us through the winter, that money right there. That's <laughs> wow. What, that's, what, that's what Dale you said. Guys really that's really racing race to race, right? Oh, like yeah. That, that oh, money, we lived day to, yeah, we lived day to day on, on what we had. That was that it. But anyhow, he couldn't buy you a Coca Cola, neither could I. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you ask it for one. But uh, anyhow, uh, he said, we was sitting there looking at the purse. We was sitting on the back of my truck, and Dale said, he said, Burr, he said, we got to have one of these two to get us through the winter. We got to have that. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said, that would really be nice. And uh, <clears throat> so we got a Dodge. We ran a Dodge then, yep. a Bush Dodge called Bush. Bush Beer was on the sponsor, and uh, number one. And uh, we qualified, I think we qualified third. And Haywood, I think, was on the pole, and – he was driving Robert G's car. He's driving Robert G. He was very tough. Yeah, I mean, that was, was a good very, old race car. He, oh, he was hard. He was the one to beat. Mm-hmm. I know between him and your dad. But anyhow, this Dickie Anderson guy, he comes up and he's a hot shoe from wherever Florida or wherever he's from. Anyhow, he's uh, something happens to him. He ends up in the rear. But anyhow, your dad, uh, we lead like a hundred and forty some laps of that race, and all it's a two hundred lap race, and like lap eighty five. 80, 85 to go, I mean, 15 to go, left 185 uh, mm-hmm. right along in there. We got a hole knocked in the radiator. Damn. And I said, oh, shit. I'm seeing it steaming coming out and stuff like that right there. And I see your dad slowing up, and Haywood's catching him. And this Dickie Anderson done worked his way up. I mean, he's coming quick. Oh, my God. What's going to happen here? We ain't going to have no money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know your dad's thinking the same thing. We don't have the radios back then, but I know what he's thinking because he and I were alike there. And uh, <clears throat> here comes Haywood by him. He passes him. He hit, runs at him, nudges him, but he don't get Haywood out of shape like he needs to be. <clears throat> here comes the, the Dickie Anderson car by him. He gets him right. <laughs> he plants him, and there's three guardrails there, and he's the third middle guardrail. Damn. When it's all done. Send him, through, <laughs> send him all, in a defense. All, all, all you seen was his, the back bumper. He was, that, he was that deep. Damn. Oh, yeah, he was deep. But he didn't have no choice. Had to do that to get the money. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Wasn't calling for no rain. And, I mean, and the, the fence is coming over. The people, I mean, they, they red flagged the race because he's stuck in the gauge, you know. Yeah. And uh, so here comes all the people. I mean, it's fixing to be a hell of a right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're going to they're gonna kill us. Yeah. Simple as that. And uh, <clears throat> Who? All His the, team, the fans, the fans are the mad. Fan, yeah, the fans. We were the bad guys. Yeah, one because that was my dad, and ah. and Dale was rough. Yeah, you know he didn't. He was a take no prisoner type of guy. You know at the time. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> anyhow, they didn't really like us, none of us. But anyhow, uh, here here everybody comes, and all of a sudden, and like I tell you, I'm telling you, there was not a cloud in the sky. There wasn't no rain in the forecast, and the bottom falls out. Yeah. Your dad gets out the car, comes running over to us. He's driving my 73 Torino that I give him. He's got no license. He ain't got no license? Oh, no. Your dad didn't have no license for a long time. What happened? I don't know. You like to ask him that. <laughs> I know you can't. I, I you was, can tell it. 
Uh, we'll take it out. It ain't live. Yeah. Oh, I would say that he has a couple of DUIs yeah. and stuff like that right no now. Sh- oh, yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah. yeah, he didn't have no license. He didn't have no license. He held about 31 years old, probably. No <laughs> What yeah. the hell? Yeah. Damn, that's that's crazy. Yeah. Good heavens. Yeah. I, I would say it's at least 31. He's a wild him. man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hold up. All right. But, but I, I want to hear more about the, uh, having to climb your way out or, or, or get out. But wait a second. Are you saying that the race ended early because of rain? It yes. was red flagged because Dale planted that guy in the, in the uh, Dickie Anderson. Yes. Was Dale in second? Dale was in second. So Haywood passed him for, for the lead. Yes. And and so Dale got his hole in the radiator as the leader. As the leader. Yeah. And then uh, so he must have just, you know, got it, uh, you know, with a lap car, or somebody he was trying to race just to get by, gets into him, gets a hole in the radiator, something it, like that. It's something. hard. It's hard. Right. To it's hard to say. That's yeah. right. Uh, and then Haywood gets by him. Dickie comes by. He wrecks Dickie. Right. That causes a red flag. Then. An act of God, the rain comes, and that's how the race ends. He yes. gets second place money. Yes. And now you guys are running for your lives. Yes. Well, Dale jumps out of the car, and they, they, they start running for him to, you know, to kill him. And they're running over to my truck where they're going to get me, too. Uh, and here, Robert G is parked right beside us, and he's standing there. He's got a, he pulls out a, you know, a little pistol, and he's put it to the side like it right there and says, Don't come over here, boys. You know, <laughs> you know he is. Yeah. Boys, don't come over here. Here comes Dale running. My car is parked where there's a fence, you know, six, eight-foot fence there, and it's got like a slope with barbed wire on it. Dale runs towards my truck, jumps up on the hood with one foot. The next foot's on that barbed wire, and the next foot's on the ground. Wow. He and Teresa are in the, my 73 Torino and gone. The original American Ninja Warrior right there. Exactly. Like that was that, uh, I'm I telling mean, you, Spider-Man you, doesn't do that. I'm telling you, he was like a deer. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a deer. I didn't know he could run that fast. I oh swear my God, heavens! God's honest truth. Damn. He, I mean, he is hauling the butt down through there, and uh, like I say, one foot. It's a, a seventy-three F three fifty truck, tow truck. Mm-hmm. I believe. Bam, bam, bam. Just like it right there. I mean, I'm telling you, I, said, I ain't believe it. And here we're sitting there, and me and Dennis Beaver and a couple other guys, you know. The, what we going to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that? No, no, no. We, <laughs> we can't leave. You know what I'm saying? You can't leave. You got, but, a, car, but, you got but, a car and everything but, else. But Robert had quite a few guys there with him, and, and he stood on the back of the truck there and guarded us. And then, like I say, the bottom fell out, and it saved us all. Yeah. By that time, the cops got there. So the cops come. The, the Charlotte cops were pretty tough. Yeah. They were a lot tougher than the Concord cops. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you, so when do you, when's the next time you see Dad? Oh, uh, That night. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, he, Where at? He was over. Uh, they had a house over on Sugar Creek, the rider right that right along in that area there. I can't remember. Was, uh, Teresa had a house over there, and he was staying over there, and we went over there after the race. He, Wait, was, he was laughing about it. Teresa, how? What year was this? Or about what year was uh, this? 77, 78. Yeah, right. Okay. I think it was 77. Oh, all right. Yeah. The end of 77. Yeah. Mom and Dad got divorced in 78. They probably split up for the for the year before that. Yeah. You know, it might have been 78 because the reason I say that there is because he was driving my Torino and I just bought a 78 Thunderbird, so it was 78. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So yeah. you, you got the money? Oh, yeah. I got and the he, money. Y'all yeah. split it up? Oh, yeah. How much did he get? He got $2,200. Damn, that's nice. Oh, he was. Uh, he, you, gave him a good, you gave him a good chunk. Oh, I did. And, uh, and I'll tell you this here. <clears throat> At that time, and he said he said, he said, he said he had never won no kind of money even close to that. Yeah. And I hadn't either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it would be, you know, 800 12,000, yeah. 1,500 at the most. Yeah. Hey, if you like that video, like and comment below, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another piece of Dirty Mo Media content.